Hashem needs and lacks nothing. Onkelos therefore explains that the verse means that the resting of the Shemitah should be before Hashem and for His sake, not for the sake of improving the land, as farmers sometimes do when they leave a field to lie fallow for a season. So Onkelos says this, and then Rashi follows Onkelos's lead, explaining that the land shall rest for the sake of Hashem, meaning rather than to increase the output, meaning that there would be a benefit in rest, letting the land rest, which as we discussed actually last night, the Gemara says that if somebody has a field, he shouldn't plant on the entire field, but rather only on half of it, because that will allow one half to recover and one, one half to produce. The following year, the one that recovered will produce double what it would typically re, uh, produce. And then the one that produced the first year will rest. And this way, the land will not only produce and stay healthy, but actually produce more as a result of this process than if you would have planted in the entire field. So many times people say, okay, yeah, I'll keep the Shemitah because it's actually good for my land. 